Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Danganronpa, and in the last episode, we are now Nagito for some reason, and we're finding out just how weird his mind works, <laughs> including being like, am I gonna side with the killer or not? <laughs> Apparently, he's got a very, very sad, uh, saddy handbook, though. <laughs> Anyways, we got more people to talk to, so let's talk to Fuyihiko. Hey, you said you witnessed Nekamaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I was so hungry yesterday I couldn't sleep. So I figured I was it was nearly morning, so I went to go check out the clock in the lounge. It turns out it was totally off. It's, it's still around 5 p 5 a.m. And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. I stuck my head out from the lounge. I saw Nakamaru's back. He's about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. I knew something like this would happen. I would have mustered the strength to follow him. But would Nekamara have wandered off so easily in the morning? I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew it wasn't gonna be get. I was gonna get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge and stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. He said a loud alarm. I completely forgot about Nekamaru. And until just now, then from the time you came inside Nekamaru until the alarm rang. You were in the lounge the whole time? But what were you doing during that time? By, the ch by chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? Whoa. Huh? I was right? Uh, of course not, asshole. You're, you're completely wrong. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. I thought you were reminiscing about Pekka or something. But that can't be right. Right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to the memories of the dead. Hmm. Okay. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting the grasp of the situation. If I put everything events in a chronological order, Fuyihiko witnessed Nakamaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nakamaru apparently went down to the first floor. After 5.30, the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. And that, when that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyihiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange sound rumbling and it didn't quite make any sense. And now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekamaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekamaru's final scream before his last- for, before his bre- his- before he breathed his last. Hold on, if Nekamaru died when we heard that sound, does that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? When we heard that rumbling noise, we were all here in the lounge, you know? If that's the, the, that's when the killer murdered Nekamaru, then we have a solid alibi. Can't argue with that. Hmm, it might be too soon to declare that yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding the rumbling noise. Hmm, a rumbling noise, huh? Something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off before the rumble. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't talked enough. I really think we should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? <laughs> the most forgettable character is in the most neon colors. Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not gonna let you go anywhere near it. And so Kazuichi ran down. Oop. Forgetting, I am not Hajim I'm not Hajime right now. And so Kazuichi ran down the steps, compl stairs complaining for some reason. So what should we do now? Uh, there's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's somewhere, something I wanted you to investigate. What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounge of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after you heard that rum rumbling sound, didn't it, they think that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Fine, but what are you asking me? Can you, invest you can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but... By the time the elevator speaks, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. Ugh, that bastard doesn't make any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes to that place. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means I'm going to the, the uh, final dead room. That's it. I should investigate that one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door in the far back of Strawberry Hall. Hall. 
Is this in case? It might be good to check and make sure they're both really bluffed off. Okay. Oh, I've got plenty of energy now. I'm a running. Going down the stairs and going up the stairs and going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the stairs and going down the sideways stairs. No. <laughs> okay. Elevator. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open so I can ride it. But nothing happened when I pressed it. It looked like it was definitely broken. What are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. You see the silver cover under the button? It looks like the elevator's control panel is probably opened up and messed with the settings. The cover is locked, so they wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm? Are there any tools in this building? No, there shouldn't be. I really don't know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on the side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. Is the control panel in Grave House side the one that's broken then? If this, the one on this side isn't broken, it's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there too. Plus the elevator stuck on Grave House side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used the elevator went to Grave House? Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. Jeez, I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I arrived to the fourth island. If you're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? A guy like you has been walking around with dangerous tool this whole time. Huh? Is there something wrong? It's nothing. Then I'll have let you have this. Your repairs may go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. What? This multi-tool is a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how, where the, how the compass reacts. What the hell for? Well, to be honest, it's something I still don't understand. Regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. I don't really get it. As long as I, I, I'll, well, as long as I'm checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm glad, then I'll leave the rest to you. He's so nice, you know? <laughs> the elevator's been added to the truth bullet section. Fine. Okay. Gundam, baby cakes. What's up, boy? I can think of only one reason the killer barred the door to Strawberry Hall. They wish to prevent me from going to the crime scene. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Baby boy, I know you're, you're beautiful. Okay, this was definitely broken now. Oh. It's the strawberry all door that leads to the tower. The button is broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall, based on what Fleet Hiko told Hajime over the phone. No, oh, excuse me. The other side of the door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious about going through the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. The killer's intent. I can only think of one explanation. Abandoned? Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid- We already talked about this. Sorry, baby. Yeah, that was probably it. <laughs> Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and the strawberry hall door look like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between the houses. Which means one, the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person I should still be at Grape House, but no, it's too soon for me to form an answer. But I won't, I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I've finished investigating that room. Alright, so it appears that I gotta go to the final dead room. Whoa. The final dead room. The only one, the only, the only those who win the life-threatening game contained will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekamaru's killer has been in that place. No matter where I search, there's still, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekamaru, the killer must have obtained it there. If that's the case, I should get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I, I should go. Oh boy. Is this gonna be like a minigame or something? 
Oh, Lordy, what? I see, so this is the final dead room. Uh, feels a little eerie. I hope I don't think it's scary. Clock. Uh, did the door just lock? I see, the door is designed to automatically lock. It, it wouldn't matter if I turned back, if it, it would, no, it, it's not that I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. <laughs> I thought the door was finally open, so now it's locked again? I figured you'd turn up since you haven't been, I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expect you to be in here. Nagito? Uh -huh. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I heard the body discovery announcement, and I thought something happened in this room. And you locked yourself in when you came inside. You're a fool from head to toe. I'm truly ashamed. Well, it's not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Get in your way? The life-threatening game is gonna start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? And besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life to save for everyone's sake. You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live! I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy! Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that someone can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope? But now then, about this so-called life-threatening game. Okay. Nagito, if they if you don't if there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you make sure you get out of here. Bring it on, escape game! This sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much of her. Okay. Let's see. I know nothing. That was the door I came in. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Oh, okay. What? Watch the news? Um. I don't know what's going on! Ah, uh, it's a laptop. It looks like it's on, but it's locked, so I can't really access it. Doesn't look like you can input the password. How are we gonna turn it on? Hmm. Okay. Pliers, huh? These might be useful for something. I should grab it. I got pliers. Wow, this drawer. This looks like some kind of password. First letters of the days of the week are probably the password. I did, but I doubt it's that simple. Okay. This one's locked. It's locked. It won't open. Okay, wait. So... TV? This television it looks broken. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright, uh... Bed. There's something shining in the bed. Hmm, I can't reach it. Looks like the bed is fixed to the floor. I can't even move it. Is there something long and thin, thin and long? Monokuma thing. It's a Monokuma plushie. You guys want me to punish you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. That was not meant to be. It was meant to be a Monokuma. Watch this. Never mind. It looks like a plushie talks when you squeeze the tummy. Life-size Monokuma. Oh. Life-size Monokuma, now for the special price of only $10,000! What? An advertisement? <laughs> okay. Alright. I am looking for something long and thin then, huh? There's something written in blood on the floor. This is the number four, right? Number, huh? Looks like it's a different symbol to me. For instance, a symbol that you might see on maps. Wait, really? Huh. That's number six. There's something written in blood on the wall. Is it the number six? So the symbols alone don't make any sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. Hmm. Very nice. Three. There's something written in blood on the wall. Looks like the number three. But these blood symbols alone don't make any sense, but maybe come on. Let's watch the news. It says watch the news in blood. I might get cursed by just looking at it! <laughs> it's a secret code. Well, this is a pretty common one. Huh? A secret code? Nagito, do you know do you happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. 
Hmm, okay, so... I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, oh, oh there's a door. Oh, hanger! There's just one hanger hanging in the closet. Maybe it's first thing. I should grab it later. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's a five in there. Wait, there's a five in there. There's something written in blood on the back of the wall. In the back of the wall. Was it the number five? It's blood some around on me. I'm going to find out something else. Okay, I can get that key now. Players on the hanger. Okay, I retained a water. Okay, I got something now. So sensitive. Okay, so. Oh, I can't use that. Under the bed. Ugh. Okay, fine. Under the bed. Obtain the desk key. Okay. Maybe we can escape. Well, maybe we can escape with this monkey toe. Who knows? Okay, that's good at least. There's the key on the desk drawer. I am doing this blind, by the way, guys. I actually have no clue what I'm doing. I'm not very good with these escaper puzzles, sadly. <laughs> Some kind of key. Okay. Oh. Use on the drawer. Ah, uh, scissors. If you use it to cut the. If you use. Oh. If you use these, you can cut the iron bars. <laughs> You're joking, right? Is that supposed to be an indirect hint? I'm sorry. Okay, scissors. Okay. Okay. So. Oops. Frick. <laughs> this must be an unlocking device for the iron bars. It's probably put in the four-digit passcode. I have a secret. P I have a secret pin. If you put in put 9999 9, combinations, it'll eventually open. You're right, but I don't. It, but there don't seem to be any buttons for inputting a password. Oh. It looks like it might be under this lid, but it doesn't seem to open. Not just that, the red lights on top of what are the red lights on top of this device? I don't. Okay. Okay, never mind. <sighs> Maybe I can use the scissors on the Monokuma? Oh. I'll just assume. Scissors on Monokuma? This plushie. If it's talking, it might be powered by a battery. Alright, let's try cutting it open. Yeah! Oh. Ah! I didn't need any grannies! Pardon wall. <laughs> what a loud thing! Cut it open right away! There was something in there. Contain batteries. Okay. I am really just guesstimating at this point. Okay, so can I use batteries on the laptop? That's a laptop. Okay, so I said. Okay, maybe okay. batteries on the TV. The television looks like it's broken. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'll put batteries in there. This was also a four-digit code, huh? But it looks like you can change the numbers with this one. This time around, let's try the 9,999 combinations! I'll leave that mindless work to you, Mamini. Uh, I'll decline as well. With the password to open this, I have a feeling that the hint is close by. Let's try putting in something. Um, well, okay, hold on. I'm trying, I want to know. There's something written in blood on the floor. Number four. It looks like a different symbol to me. For instance, symbol you'd often see on a map. Yeah, north, south, east, and west, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you know, we're gonna find out in the next episode. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys all right. Bye bye.